nerve repairs require epineural sutures. Here's how. Hold the epineurium, which is the outer lining, place your needle against it and rotate, keeping traction on your forcep until your needle has come all the way through. Pull the suture, mount it early and continue on the opposite side. Same principles apply. Traction, enter and rotate. Pull the suture in line with the nerve, apply some counter traction and create a short end and a long end. This bit is crucial. You never want your hands to cross, you never want your instruments to cross. What you want is to take the short suture with the instrument that's going to pull it towards the direction it's meant to go to lay a square knot. So my long suture is here, my short suture is here. This suture needs to end over here and this suture needs to end over here. So I'm going to take the long suture with the needle holder, wrap it around the forcep, grab the tip of the short suture and pull it through the loop to where it needs to be. And now that suture needs to end over here. So I'm going to pass the long suture to the forcep. For economy, I'm going to turn the needle holder with the tips down, wrap around the tip of the needle holder and grab the short suture and bring it to its final position. Let your instruments be near where you want to tie your knots so you can apply the appropriate tension. And then in reverse, take the long suture with the needle holder, wrap around the forcep, grab the tip of the short suture and tie. I like to cut my short suture first so that I know my needle is secure until I've placed it in the park. And just show me parking it.